All right, guys, so today we're going to be breaking down this route here by Allen Robinson. We're going to be talking about how you can get some separation with any kind of double move off the line of scrimmage on a slant route. So he's going to be coming off here. Again, this DB's in this nice catch technique, right? So I want to make sure I want to try to close the gap and maybe try to get him on his heels in a back pedal here, right? So he comes off fast. That first step off the line of scrimmage, you see how he doesn't pop his chest up? He's going forward. 70% of his weight is on that front leg, so we can close the gap as much as we can with this DB. So we come off one, two, three. Now, on that third step here, this is something that a lot of people don't do. They'll make this double move, and they'll just go one, two, and their feet won't actually move, and their upper half will stay square. And that's when we don't get this DB to bite. How we can get him to shuffle over and how we can get him to be off of his platform here is when I make this one, two, I'm really throwing my hip, and I'm almost stepping out. I wouldn't say outside of my frame, but like into this far lane over here, like into this left lane, and you're being violent with your upper half, right? Your upper half has got to turn because you see where that DB's looking. He's staying disciplined with his eyes. He's watching that number. So if I turn my number and I'm really throwing my hip into this break, that's more than likely to get him to at least lean to the outside so I could be able to get some separation. Now, let's say he does get hands with this right arm. All I know is I want to take an inside release. I'm running a slant. I just got to have a plan for my hands to be able to swat this arm off and then and get some separation. Let's watch it again one more time. So here, one, two, get him off. Make sure I'm throwing my hip. Make sure my upper half is violent.